Time marches on, and seizing the chance to start anew and inspire others in the process feels right. Even though I'm not a pianist, the soothing music she used to play comes to mind. Could I find a way to bring comfort and healing to others like she did? Oscar, once a struggling plant we nurtured back to health, became a symbol of growth. What if I could nurture others' dreams? keeping her caring spirit alive. Alcohol can't fix the pain. It's becoming clearer that maybe healing begins right here at home, where I can cherish the memories. These handwritten recipes are a testament to her love for life. They always remind me of how simple ingredients can create something beautiful. The warmth of our daily rituals brought peace. Finding solace in a new place might extend that peace to others. She always said there's more to life than what's on TV. Maybe it's time to explore the world outside these screens and find a new purpose. I couldn't resist stepping on the scale. But thank goodness it's not one of those all-knowing models. I've had enough judgment from a pizza-loving life. Soaking in these scents always helped wash away the stress. 
Maybe a new beginning by the sea can do the same for my heart and soul. Each pin on this globe was a dream we shared. By honouring her memory and supporting others' dreams, I can continue our journey in a different way. These awards remind me that I've accomplished a lot, but maybe it's time to share my strength with others who need it. There are countless undiscovered talents out there, just waiting for their big break. I could use her story and her love for art to help those hidden gems shine bright. Building structures has always been my thing. But what if I could build something more meaningful? Our life together, framed in these photos, is a testament to her passion. I can honour her by nurturing others' creative dreams. This art filled our home with joy. I could create a space where others find happiness and inspiration. This doormat has always been a symbol of warmth. I hope I can offer that same warmth to others who need it. The truck's here. It's hard, but necessary. Time to move the boxes. No looking back.
Okay, the boxes are gone. Now the only thing left is the room. Our room. Time to step in. Seeing her there, nurturing life in our garden. It's a reminder. Every end makes way for a new beginning. I think it's time for mine. This half portrait. It's me. Half here, half lost. A solitude in my own existence. Maybe it's time to confront the half I've been avoiding. It's in these everyday moments our love truly lived. I can carry this with me. I can carry her with me. As I start on this path to healing. This picture. It's more than a memory. It's her spirit, always nurturing, always giving. Even in absence, she continues to guide, to comfort. Our lighthouse, the beacon that started our story. It whispers of a past too precious to let go. Perhaps home is right here after all. Dear Dave, the lighthouse has become more than a beacon on the coast. It's now a hub of creativity and passion. I've started teaching, sharing what I know with anyone eager to learn, just like she would have done. Her spirit's alive in every flash of a camera, in every line on a sketch pad. You'd hardly believe it, but there's a new chapter in my life now. A new love. We're creating memories, building a life that celebrates what was, but also what's now and what's next. Thank you, Dave, for pushing me to take this leap. Carry onward, Thomas. <laughs>